Okay, okay, doing good, doing good. Not got long left of this shift, Perry. You can make it to the end. <sighs> if the next person who gets on this bus just waltzes on without so much as a hello, I am going to flip. God, it's cold on here. Son of a bitch. I like this job, honestly, I really do, but sometimes on a bad day it can be the worst of experiences. People are so rude all the time and it can really begin to cut my nerves. I mean, just yesterday someone... Oi! Keep walking, nosy. What do I think of the transport system in this city? Oh, well, for a start, it's way overpriced. And for what? I mean, come on, can we just get a nice MMC around here? The drivers? Oh, they're excellent. You see that guy over there? That's, that's Perry. Excellent driver, would recommend to a friend any time. He's been a driver for about two years now and has only ever hit one small group of pensioners. I don't want to join in with your goddamn interviews. I've got work to do. It's really not worth a lot in the way of money. I mean, can't you tell? You know, once I've driven my bus all day long, I have to get the bus home. You know who's to blame for this? Those damn pesky conservatives. Just you wait, just you wait. The day will come, my friend. One of these days, I'm gonna run my bus straight into Reza May's ah. Don't worry, all the pensioners survived. I mean, apart from Beatrice, may God rest her corn socks. I complained, I complained to the company. You know what they did? You know what they did? They sent me a savoury muffin. A savoury muffin. Life is full of enough disappointments. Are you following me? You know, I pay my taxes. I should be able to travel around my own city for free. You know, they raise the prices every year, every single year. You know, um, Perry isn't just good at driving buses. Let me tell you a little story about we went to Spain and he couldn't open the oysters. So this is the bus cab. It might look confusing at first, but what you have to remember is half of it actually makes no sense at all. You may also notice that you're starting to turn into an icicle. That is just because, as you will tell it, this vehicle has no heating. And just don't tell anyone, okay? None of the passengers know. And if I get on another bus that doesn't have heating as standard, I swear to God! And that is how my little boy Joey came to be. Anyway, I've got to get home to him. Thanks for the interview. I'll catch you later. If you know what I mean. Okay, seriously. Get out before I call the police. So, thanks for the interview, guys. It was a real hoot, and I can't wait to do this again some other time. Okay, ta-ta for now. And if they claim that these vehicles are low emissions, one more time, I will scold someone. Because I've had it up to here. Are you listening? Are you listening? <laughs>